as well as being asked to show a bit more cooking in the videos now we're back in Amble and what we eat we do occasionally get asked what's in our fridge what cooking equipment we carry and also what's in our food cupboards so in this video we'll show you a bit of everything It's weekend and we're out on an amble in Amble. Not far this weekend from home, just back up in the Peak District. And we're parked up here. But it's getting late. We've just arrived. We're both getting a little bit hangry. So the first thing to do is have a look what I've brought for tea. Shall we go and have a look in the fridge? Hey, that's nothing new there. So what I've brought for tea tonight is just some chicken bites that we're going to warm up. And we've got two packs of those. So there, just going to warm those up on the uh, Ridgey Monkey thingy. And that's tomorrow's tea. Very simple tonight. We got some salad. And that's all it is tonight. Dead simple. So let's get warming through, eh? Dead easy, these you just need warming through. Oh, two packets should fit easily. Low heat. Just let those warm through and I'll get some salad ready. Our new best friends, definitely magnets. Got a few of them now. Just really handy for all sorts of things, like the bin bags. Well, there was some leftover peppers and tomatoes at home, so I chopped those up. Well, I'll chop the peppers up. So we can have a few on the salad, and then I've got ideas from tomorrow. But just using up bits and pieces, really, that just wouldn't really last in the fridge. I'll tell you what I'll do. There's a bit more room. Put the rest of that bag of salad in that box and it can go back in the fridge. Hello, you're back from your walk, are you? Mm. Let's stir things up a bit. We'll add a bit of uh, cheating cheese to it. Fancy buying ready sliced cheese. You hungry? Yeah. I said they wouldn't take much. They're done. Just let the cheese melt on top. Failed. Why? I didn't bring mayonnaise. I think we'll survive. I've got some chilli sauce though. No, thank you. I think we'll survive. Will it do for a quick tea? It will. It certainly will. And we have a view, but we are going to move. I found somewhere, or you've just noticed somewhere a bit more level, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
have this first though. So you've seen us eating occasionally and cooking things occasionally in the van and we do get asked quite regularly what we do eat so I'll tell you a bit more in this video about that so you've just seen what we've had <clears throat> for tea or what we're going to finish off with I don't know what are they called Danish I, like, I think they're called cinnamon buns cinnamon they? buns that's what they are and a cup of tea not coffee no cup of tea. tea this time coffee is later on they keep you awake all night not my decaf it will. <laughs> so all the kettles working and on and the cups are waiting and the buns are waiting they're waiting for a run ready I think we've come to the end of the heat wave. I think we might have done. It did say it was breaking this weekend, didn't it? It did. Then back next weekend. Or well, next month, I don't know. Well, as have you tonight. Not a bad view down there. Over to Frog Edge, well known uh, climbing edge. <coughs> That'll be the kettle then. That'll be the kettle then. We've got a proper milkman as well now, haven't we? Mm. So we've got proper milk bottles. Which could be a problem, couldn't it, Keith? It could. Tell them why, Keith. Oh, I'll let you tell them. <clears throat> Keith has a few things that he collects. One I'm not going to tell you about. Some of you know. The other one is milk bottles with adverts on them. Not just any old milk bottle. They've got to have adverts on them. And so far... Only one has, so we've dropped Lucky. Well, I've dropped Lucky. Yes, we've got proper milk bottles. But we don't do it easily because we have to have two different types because you like full fat, don't you? Well, right. you like full fat when we're I do want to drink cold it, flakes. In, <clears throat> um, in tea, I like skimmed. And I do this the wrong way round. Don't I, Keith? You do. Add in the milk before the tea bag comes out. Because I like to see the colour. Still the wrong way around. So which way do you do it? Who? Me? No. <laughs> you. <laughs> Not you, you. Tea bags or tea leaves? Nice. Milk before you take the bag out or after you take the bag out? Come on, you can have your bun now. <laughs> of course, there are four who would say that the most important food stuff we carry on board are their meals and their bonios. So let's start with the dog's breakfast. Supervisors know where it's kept. Oh, are they right? That's two each, isn't it?
got eight. I can count. My nose. So today's breakfast consists of, if we're allowed to say, one black coffee and one white coffee. Or do we have to say one without milk and one with milk? One calf and one decaf. Prepared by today's barista. Full fat milk? Yes. And for breakfast, one of our regulars, just some croissants, just warm through. Breakfast. But you're not having butter on yours. A lunchtime treat, millionaire shortbread with a millionaire's view. Another not so bad view, really. We think we're going to park up here for the night, don't we? We do. That's uh, Stanage Edge. We're on Bam Bamford Moor, aren't we? Bamford Moor, yeah. When you say lunchtime treat, it's nearly two o'clock. Is it? <laughs> Mid-afternoon treat, with a view. So one question we've been asked quite regularly is what we keep in our food cupboard. To be honest, we don't eat a lot of tins. They're just more for emergencies, but these are the kind of things we keep. Tin of lunch and meat. Potched, pot, potched pots of porridge, a good old northern staple, mushy peas, beef slices, all that kind of thing really, baked beans, a few packets of rice, marmite, our teas and coffees are down there, Keith drinks decaf so we've got separate coffees for me and him. Him and I, ravioli, chopped tomatoes, just all that kind of thing. But we don't, as I say, tend to eat a lot of tin stuff. They're just more for emergency fillers. So they just all live under there, which probably frustrates Keith because I've moved them since <laughs> where they last lived. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then just some spray light oil because that's easier to cart than a big bottle of olive oil or whatever and then we've got the plates underneath cups so that's more or less the emergency cupboard although we do have a dried foods locker just up here because it's all white stuff that's where we keep all our crisps you never think i'd I'd lost so much weight, would you? Got crisps, bait wells, apple pies. These aren't mine because I can't stand them. <laughs> but I haven't had any for a long time. You haven't? There's two packets in there. It's all that kind of thing in there. Plus the blue rolls, just up out of the way. In a little while, we'll show you what we use for cooking. But look at that view again. So what about what we use for cooking? Well, I suppose the most important one is the kettle for our teas and coffees. That's where we keep all the pots and pans in that cupboard there. So what do you use for cooking? 
Hmm? What do you use for cooking? Well, we do have a cheese grater, but we use it very often. This is our Sea to Summit pan set, which is collapsible. There's a easy to get out. Little frying pan, which we never really used, and then just a, a pan. That's quite handy. Not our most used thing, though, is it? No, not really. Another thing that's not used very often is. small wok but we do occasionally like a stir fry then we've got our two well one's an actual ridge monkey and one's a high gear which is go outdoor zone version of which we used to use a lot but not so much these days it's because the balance anymore because we've got this which is like a bigger version but it's deeper and it's got a silicon seal around it so whereas the ridge monkey and the high gear when you flip them over they tend to leak whereas you can flip this one over and it doesn't leak but that's Deep on one side and shallower on the other, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. So we've got the shallow side, and then we've got the deep side here. So we can have <clears throat> more wet foods in there, can't we? We mm. can do a stew in there and all sorts. So that's what we use mostly, and it's also good for toasting stuff. The whereas so are the little ridge monkeys, to be honest. Something else we have got in here which we haven't used yet but if we've wanted to we've got a griddle which will go on both burners if we wanted to cook a lot of stuff we've got people coming to visit we'll just rest on there and heat up and go on both burners and to be fair that's from home isn't it we used to it use is. that at home before we had a cooker that's got a, a griddle on it yeah quite handy it could be used outside as well on a mm. barbecue couldn't it mm. but it's heavy it is very heavy tony would be saying think about the fuel <laughs> and really that's about it for the stuff we use for cooking um anything else is there, is there? i mean no. to be honest i mean we when we're away we 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 camp cook don't we so we do, it's, yeah, so it is uh, basic stuff basic usually. stuff well not basic stuff but it's the basic pans are basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say this is our most used thing now, to be honest, because it. Whereas the ridges are small, and really you're only cooking a, a small amount of food for basically one person, aren't you? Mm. These we can get a lot in, or this we can get a lot in. I mean, we have had competitions of cooking stuff in the Ridge Monkey. Yeah, we? um, we've done apple crumbles, apple crumbles and, and, apple and, uh, and pizzas and things like yeah. that. So. Uh, but, uh, somebody has asked whether we've made a pizza in this. We haven't yet, but we will do at some point. We'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. And somebody actually said uh, on Instagram, because we've put a picture of this on Instagram, that they've done a spatchcock, uh, spatchcock chicken in it. Well, it's big enough, isn't it? Yeah, mm. so... And it's, to be honest, that's not too heavy, but it, it, it just feels more solid on a hob as well. Mm. So. so that's it for our pots and pans. But you'll see us cooking with that again after, and then we'll show you what's in the fridge. But everything just fits in that cupboard nice and neatly. And to be honest, this, as I say, probably doesn't get used as much as, uh, or as often as we could. And it's always a puzzle of putting it back together. It is for you. It's fairly straightforward, to be honest. Well, I know it is, but... There. Done it! What is it Clarkson says on his new programme? I did a thing! <laughs> <laughs> and when we're 
traveling the kettle also fits in that cupboard all nice and compact so it's time for a pre tea time walk with a four pack not sure how far we'll get we'll have a look and then we'll have a look at in the fridge and see what's for tea. So, what have we got in the fridge? Well, whatever I show you in there was just chucked in either out the freezer or some leftovers because we're only away for a weekend. So, but we have found a way of getting more into the fridge if we're going away for a longer time just to get us going for the first few days until we find the best local butchers and other local shops to buy stuff in but we'll uh, we'll show you that in another video um, certainly helps to make a lot more room for us but in the meantime as i say what's in the fridge for this evening's meal it's just stuff that was handy okay. Hello. Hello. Where have you been? Fancy seeing you here. Well, they're eating. Oh, Nab's eating. So it's our turn. So what are we having? Well, in the fridge. I've got some mushrooms. Cheese slices. Some new potatoes that I cooked yesterday and some vintage cheddar beef burgers. And then in the cupboard. Oh no, I moved them. No. They were in the first cupboard looked in some brioche burger buns. So what we're gonna do? He's trusting me with an knife. I know, be careful. You know what you're like with sharp objects. So we're gonna fry the potatoes once the burgers will start cooking. Fry the potatoes. Chef's privilege. I counted them, there are five each. So we'll have a little spray of olive oil. Oh, it's good having an assistant. <laughs> what was I'm, that face? I'm Johnny to your fanny. I've always, I've always been your fanny. You've always been my Johnny. <laughs> Now, for any of you watching another country, that probably absolutely means nothing to you. Or if you're oh, a lot sorry, younger, a lot younger. <laughs> have a Google of Fanny Craddock. She was a, what would someone describe as a dragon of a TV cook in the 60s and early 70s? Yeah. Her yelly's got nothing on her. And while you're at it, Some, some mushrooms as well. How do you want your mushrooms cooked? However you like them. Just watch your fingers. I have every confidence in you. As you can hear, they're already beginning to sizzle. Over. 
nicely. And as we said, the beauty of this big professional is that we can do everything in one pan. Cheese is there, ready to go on. Buns are opened up. Keith has requested tomato ketchup. I'm going to have sweet chilli Thai style. Sweet chilli Thai style. Ketchup. Well, let's chuck it all in. It's all cooked. You know, it doesn't fry, it'll heat through. So. Nice substantial tea. I've had a bit of salad. So have I. I've eaten mine. Why? Because you didn't really want it. No. <laughs> And while that's cooking through, we'll admire the view again. So while that's still cooking, what else is in our fridge? Well, we have... Milk, full fat and skimmed. A little bit of salad left. Some alcohol-free ciders, because we found they're really nice. There's some carbonated water, the other cheese, butter, did we fancy it? Got some custard. And then the really naughty stuff is our box of chocolates. is all our uh, different chocolatey treats and we've got matchmakers and chocolate buttons and chocolate orange segments they're the naughty treat for later on though I don't really eat them it's Keith mm. but with it being warmer weather it's nice to keep those in the fridge and it's a bit bad in it because they what take up most of the room in there nicely I think that'll do us Not yet. I'm going to put both burgers on mine. Oh. Where do you want yours? On the side? Or? I can leave it in there for now. So, I was going to put a red onion in, but I thought I'd better not. I keep thinking that you don't like onions. I keep telling you, I do like onions, but I don't like raw onions. But you, never, more. you never listen to me. I always listen to you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm never very good with burgers. How are you going to eat that? Uh, well, you keep telling me I've got a big gob. Do you want your other bit of cheese? No. At the moment. 
Oh, that's chilly-ish. I'll eat it later. It's too hot yet. Well, I couldn't get my mouth around it, so I did have to take a burger out. All right. Mm. Nice. And the worst part is always the washing up. That might have to cool a bit. The good thing about this is that it's easy to clean with it being non-stick as well. So, also helps. Good night's sleep. Was again very peaceful. A few cars going past, but nothing major. Well, that was early morning, really, wasn't it? Yeah. So, dogs have had their breakfast, so it's our turn. And what you're making? What you told me to make. I mean, toasted brioche buns. <clears throat> Kettle bullion and fried eggs. We bought these because we did have a bigger egg carrier, but the eggs were getting broken. We thought these were just easier if you could open them. Can you open them? No. You will buy these things. Thought they were just easier for carrying eggs and easier for storage really and the egg carrier we had carried a dozen and then we had a smaller one that carried half a dozen but that had a handle on which made it more awkward so i thought they might be easier so what we're having fried eggs fried eggs and why are you doing the eggs because you can't do eggs Keep telling me you can't do eggs. I can't do eggs. I break them. I crack them. I can't. I just can't do a fried egg. You meant to crack eggs. Yeah, but I mean, I break the yolk. That's what I mean. The yellowy bit. But first, a coffee. You want a coffee first? Well, I'm going to save that till later. That was the second one, wasn't it? Am I so demanding? Mm. Oh, look, you spilt it. Thank you. So it's nice seeing that. Mm -hmm. Even better. Not that about breaking your head. <laughs> there are eggs from our hen. Our last remaining hen. That's because you're on camera, isn't it? Thank you. Another quick and easy breakfast. Do you want pepper? No, thank you. I'd have the broken one. You know I'd have the broken egg for you. Mm -hmm. Go around right brioche buns or? Mm, brioche buns are a bit sweet, aren't they? Mm. But they're all right.
that's just been away with us in a weekend cooking in the van and seeing what we use so thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video